Hello, my name is Sean, and today I'll be going over white hexabuttons. So, this one's a interesting one, which you're not given a lot of information. However, when you hover over it, you start seeing what the theme of this puzzle is going to be. So, to start off, we're going to get our initial sequence right here. So, we're going to look at the hovered color of the center button, which indicates yellow. And then starting from the button that is colored yellow, we're going to go in clockwise motion to get our initial button sequence. So this would be first yellow is the first one, obviously, then purple, red, red, blue, orange, green. So yellow, purple, red, blue, orange, green. I'm going to obliterate abbreviate as such to indicate that. Also, if you're having trouble discerning colors or just colorblind, you can press the status light to activate colorblind mode. And it'll basically give you the letter of that color. And then now comes the next part. When we press this center button, six flashes are going to happen. And there's a bit of a trick that I used to that I do, which basically is a similar trick that everyone kind of does in Simon Shrinks, in which case they use this button, the button that is the same color as the center button, as a reference point and go how many clockwise afterwards for that. So this would be labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 as the flashes go. So let me demonstrate. Uh, 5, 3, four, two, one, three. That was a bit basically uh, fast, but you can definitely see what I did here. So it'd be the fifth clockwise, then the third clockwise, the fourth, the second, the first, and then the third clockwise. And I keep my mouse here to basically tell me at least exactly where that button is and keep that as a reference point. And that's what I would do as the fuser and me as expert just record everything. So now that I've got the information needed, now I have to turn these numbers back into colors because it indicates of what colors have been flashing. And I use this as a reference point. So if the fifth clockwise flash, that means orange flash, which is the fifth in the sequence. Then the third one flash, which is the red. Then the fourth one, which is blue. Then the second one, which is purple. Then the first would be yellow. And then finally third again, which is red. So these are the colors that flashed. And then we're going to create six color pairs by ordering the flashes like so such as first and second, second, third, third and fourth, you get the picture. So it'd be orange red, then red blue, then blue purple, then purple yellow, then yellow red, and then finally red orange. And then we're going to alter this initial sequence by following the instructions for each one. By using the left color as the row and the right color as the column, we're gonna basically get an intersection in this table below. So just orange red gets me an instruction of OP, which is under CC, you would swap the two colors around. So orange and purple would swap within the sequence. Next is red blue. So red and blue gets me yellow green. So this gives me green, then yellow swapping. Then blue purple right here gets me a two three. And a number number swap, you would swap the two positions. So this would be indicating that the second position swaps with the third, which indicates red orange. So that's blue purple. Next we do purple yellow, which indicates three four. So basically the blue and orange swap. That's purple yellow, and then yellow red, which indicates four and six. So yellow and orange swap. That is yellow red and then finally red orange is blue purple swap so the purple and blue swap with one another and this is our final 
color sequence. And what we gotta do is press the colors according to that. So it'd be green, red, purple, and then yellow, blue, orange. All right, let me go to the next one. So we have purple as our first sequence. So we have purple, blue, red, orange, green, yellow. And just to double check, purple, blue, red, orange, green, yellow. And then purple is up here. So let's do this. It's five, no, four, four, one, six, four, one. That's a lot of fours. Let me just indicate that. So it's definitely four, four, one, six, four, one. All right, cool. Now that I got that out of the way, so one, two, three, four, that's two oranges, followed by one, which is a purple, six is a yellow, four is another orange, and one is another purple. Then we split up the sequences, so this would be orange, 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 purple, purple, yellow, yellow, orange, orange, purple, purple, orange. So with orange, orange is a green, purple swap. Yep, so this becomes green and this becomes purple. With an orange, purple swap, that's gonna be two, five. So this one and this one, so purple and blue swap. Then we have a purple, yellow, which is three, four. One, two, three, four, so this becomes orange, red. It's purple, yellow, so next we have yellow, orange, which is a red star. Now, with a colored star, as you see here, you bring the color to the beginning of the sequence. If it already is, you bring it to the end of the sequence. So red is not the beginning, so we're gonna bring it to over here. So now where it's at the beginning of the sequence, and so that's yellow, orange, and then we have orange, purple, which is a two five swap, which is going to be blue and green swapping with one another. There's orange purple, then purple orange is an orange star. So we need to bring orange to the front. And that's basically it. So now I do orange, red, blue, purple, green, yellow. I hope all of you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, guys, keep talking and don't explode.